Leaf mold compost is one of the best organic fertilizers for plants and in this video we will talk all about leaf mold compost, what are its benefits and how we can make it at home with updates. So keep watching and do subscribe to our channel. Leaf mold compost is simply the decomposed form of leaves and used as a source of nutrients for many plants worldwide. Leaf compost is a dark colored, highly porous and soft form of leaves and roots can absorb nutrients out of it very efficiently. The most useful thing about this organic fertilizer is that it can be made at home using the waste leaves of our plants. The method of making compost is very simple and easy, you just have to follow some simple things. Let's break down the process and discuss it. First thing to consider for making leaf molds quickly is the season. The best time to start the composting process is the summers. At this time the temperature is warm that is very ideal for the growth of decomposing bacteria and other microbes. In the falls, you can collect the leaves of any plant, just make sure they are insects and infection free and as the summer starts, we can start our composting process. For the composting bin, I am using this plastic bucket that is deep and wide but it's not ideal. It was a mistake, I should have used a porous bucket like a grow bag or a clay pot. They have more aeration that speeds up the process of composting and this way we can save a lot of time. Now I am also using this plastic basket at the bottom for drainage purposes. You can make some holes at the bottom or you can use such a basket in the same way. Now I am using some paper pieces that are a great source of carbon element required by the microbes. Add a small amount of soil or compost at the bottom like a layer. I am using this to initiate the decomposition of leaves. Now we can add the leaves, for that I have these dried leaves of a bigger tree. You can also add fresh green leaves, both are okay. Make a layer of these leaves, then add a layer of soil. Then again add leaves over the soil. This way you have to make multiple layers of leaves and soil or compost on one another. The leaves will settle down as the decomposition starts so it's better to press them inside the bin. When you filled up the whole bin now you can add a good amount of moisture. Moisture, darkness and warm area are the some most liked conditions by the fungus which is our main decomposer here. So place this bin in a shady area and keep the moisture up. After around 10 to 15 days, the composting material will start to settle down, that is the first sign of decomposition. It means the process of composting has started. You can also add some more material over this to fill up the space. Otherwise it's fine, just keep the medium moist. After around 60 to 70 days, I noticed this layer on our composting medium that is a type of fungus commonly named as white fungus. It's not harmful, oppositely it's useful. During this period, you should also turn the material up and down so the gases can get in and out. After around 4 months, our composting material now looks like this. It's even more settled down. You can dig up the material with something to see if it's ready or not. Commonly after 3 months with a porous composting bin, leaf mold compost will be ready to use. Due to the lack of aeration, our composting process took this long. But now it's ready to use. It also have some of the small leaf left out, but it's not a problem. This is the fine form of leaf mold compost that can be used for plants and provide them nutrients. For applying leaf mold compost on plants, just follow up the traditional method, lose the upper layer of soil and let it dry. Add a dose of our homemade leaf mold compost that depends on plant age and container size. For a 5 to 6 inches pot, use around 100 grams. For a 10 to 15 inches pot, use around 200 grams and so on. A little up and down is fine as it's an organic fertilizer, but don't go much far. Mix it evenly with the soil and add a frequent amount of moisture for effective absorption. Leaf mold compost have some very useful benefits for plants that you should know. First benefit of leaf compost is that it's a very useful source of nutrients containing potassium, calcium, nitrogen, sulfur, magnesium, etc. Other benefit of leaf mold is that it makes the plant resistant of pests and other problems by making its immune system stronger. Other use of leaf mold compost is that it improves the soil quality by enhancing its drainage, looseness and porosity. Such type of a soil mix can work as a growth booster for plants, so always try to use such a mixture. You can also make it at home, detailed video is linked in the video description, must check it out. Leaf mold compost is purely organic and natural that is very useful for vegetable plants. If your soil mix have alkaline pH, leaf compost usage can help to balance the pH. That is again a good thing about it. You might wanna know can we use leaf mold compost on all type of plants, so the answer is yes, but it's better to mix it with other fertilizer and then use. Because it's a low dose fertilizer and its long term use is not so much helpful. You can use this for fertilizing indoor plants, vegetables, flowering and fruiting plants, just remember it's a low dose fertilizer. So it's all about leaf mold compost, only bad thing about this type of compost is that it takes much long to be ready for use. So here the kitchen waste compost can be the perfect choice for your daily needs. 
डिटेल वीडियो इज लिंक हेयर टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन मेक किचन वेस्ट कम्पोस्ट एट होम इन लेस दैन अ मंथ मस्ट चेक इट आउट